Hey guys, this is Mrs. May. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about Overwatch and the hero that I like to use the most. Junkrat. You can tell from my live streams and my tweets, I'm super addicted to this game. It's so much fun. And while I mean mostly Junkrat, I like to get familiar with all of the you know heroes and try to use them. But here, I'm showing you some gameplay, some defensive gameplay on Junkrat. I figured this gameplay would best show you how I use him whenever we're on defense. So here we go. Let me just talk a little bit about him. As you may have already figured out, Junkrat is a defensive hero. He does great damage. Uh, his frags are about 120 damage, but unfortunately, he's really, really squishy. He has a very low fire rate, low ammo. I believe it's only like six or five or something like that and low health so the best way to use them really is to stay away out of sight out of sight from offense heroes uh and hide pretty much behind everything and just lob his grenades over obstacles as you can see um for me doing this in this little train car his frags from the uh, frag launcher has the ability to bounce once and it's better used to lob towards the enemies rather than trying to straight shoot them. I like to close off doorways, rooms, and choke points, constantly lobbing them in that area. He also has a steel trap that you can put down that could be triggered if an enemy gets too close. Not only does it immobilize them, but it could do some damage. I use this to close off any choke points that I won't be able to look through uh, while I look at another. So I use it almost like a, as a mini UAV to tell me if an enemy is trying to flank me. It also has a cooldown time of 10 seconds so it's not like you could just keep putting them down you only have one of them he has a concussion mind that you can trigger upon command I like to use this to get enemies off of a payload or a site off of the um, objective essentially and I use it as well as a complementary damage to the steel trap so say someone's trapped in a room and I'm lobbing grenades at him but he's not dead yet, like a Roadhog would have a lot of health and can heal himself while he's trapped. Well, I like to use the Concussion Mine on that um, in conjunction to my Frag Launcher and also the damage that the Steel Trap is giving. Fortunately, it has a cooldown time of 8 seconds, so you only have one of, one of those as well, so you can't really just spam them. Uh, like you would with the frag launcher. His ultimate is the rip tire as you saw earlier in this gameplay. It is a motorized tire bomb essentially. The damage it deals in an area is about 600. You can make it climb over walls, climb over obstacles, and remotely detonate it whenever you're ready. Uh, however, you only have 10 seconds to find and use this on your enemy. It's a super powerful area ult to get rid of multiple enemy heroes and get get them off the payload and get them off the site. So as you can see here, I have my friend James who was using Mercy give me a damage boost as often as he can because with Junkrat, you're able to kill multiple heroes fairly quickly if you combine his abilities well enough. So with a damage boost, you could keep throwing the frag grenades, throw the concussion mines, set a steel trap in the same area and you can kill multiple enemies at the same time. As you can see with Reinhardt, he can't really hold his shield like as as someone who's in the offense is shooting at him to the right, I can lob my concussion mine to the left or lob my um, frag launcher to the left and keep, you know, dealing damage like that. So there's some counters to Junkrat. Uh, a lot of people say he's a little OP and he's really powerful, but honestly, I feel like you have to know how to use him correctly to be able to actually be super OP with him. Like I said, he's really, really squishy. So if you see an enemy Junkrat who's doing really, really well, my suggestion for you is switching over to either a Farah or a Winston. Since he has to lob his frags and his concussion mine and Everything is pretty much ground level for him, like a steel trap and the ult his ultimate, the rip tire. The best counter to him would be Farah. He won't be able to kill a flying Farah. He just can't straight shoot his frags. I mean, just as long as Farah doesn't stay on the ground and just keep flying around, then Junkrat is completely useless in that situation. Another counter would be Winston. Uh, because Winston can do his huge rush jump. I don't even know what it's actually called, but he can close the gap quickly between him and Junkrat, and he's able to do really good damage and can tank through pretty much everything because he has a high health. He also has his dome shield, which could take away Junkrat's ability to like fling 
or lob his grenades at him, which is a great way also to close off any choke points that, you know, Drunk Rat is using to try and uh, just cause any damage, like say in a doorway or in a choke point, like in a room or something like that. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling now, but uh, I hope this helps you a little bit about Drunk Rat. If you guys want me to do, um, you know, a hero breakdown or anything like that with a different hero, just let me know in the comment section below. Le also, let me know who do you main as, who, who's your favorite and who do you hate the most. For me, honestly, and it sounds weird, I cannot stand playing against Mei. She is the most annoying person, the most annoying hero in this game for me. Mostly because she could heal herself. She could Not only could she heal herself, she could freeze you quickly and just headshot you with her right click. Oh my goodness, I can't. That I guess that could be a different video altogether. She's a beast. And I'm just, I do horrible as Junkrat against her. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Share it with your friends. And as always, I will see you guys online. Bye.